Hello, and welcome to this short video showcasing the installation procedure for Storage OS when using Rancher. Storage OS is a software solution that provides enterprise class storage for applications running in containers and is itself deployed as a container. To make things easy, Storage OS is available in the Rancher catalog, allowing the migration of stateful applications to containers with the same ease of use, portability, and management capabilities that Rancher is known for. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to install Storage OS with Rancher. From the cluster view in the Rancher UI, select the project where you want to install Storage OS. Storage OS is an infrastructure component, so it makes sense to select the system project in Rancher. Then you can select Apps and click Launch because Storage OS is a Rancher certified app. You'll find it in the Rancher catalog by either typing its name and searching for it that way, or by finding it under the Storage category. To deploy Storage OS, click on View Details. This brings up information on the Storage OS operator. Here you'll define the Storage OS cluster installation. A generic configuration for Storage OS is preset using default values in the form. You can change these to customize the installation, specifying namespace, container images, conditional bootstrap, key value store, and so on. To understand those configuration options, you can see our documentation. It's important to note that Storage OS is deployed in the Cube System namespace by default. That makes Kubernetes treat it as a priority, so it's not preempted when other workloads start taking up memory and CPU. Notice that we click the Generate Password button there to give the admin user a new password. An important addition is to specify the Node Selector Term Key. This ensures that Storage OS is deployed as a daemon set on the worker nodes within your cluster. With all that specified, click Launch, and the operator gets to work. The operator kicks off right away, turning green and active, showing that it's starting its process of installing the daemon set. In about a minute, we should see that everything is complete. If we look at workloads, we can see what the operator is up to. And there's the storage OS daemon set being deployed. Not quite finished. We can see details about the daemon set by clicking on it and noticing that we have three worker nodes. Each one is assigned an instance of storage OS. While we're waiting, why don't we go into the command line interface that's provided as part of Rancher's UI we can launch the kubectl shell. And from there, take a look at the status of our daemon set by seeing all the pods that are listed under cube system. Here we can see we have three nodes all running and ready as part of our daemon set. If we go back to the UI and look in our system project, we'll see that it agrees that the daemon set is ready. The installation is complete. When Storage OS is installed, a default storage class is created. And you can use that to assign storage to your applications. If you prefer, you can create your own storage classes, specifying things like replication factor, encryption, and compression, as you wish. You can learn more about Storage OS and Rancher by visiting storageos.com/rancher. Thanks for watching.